So I'm moving to Germany in a few weeks, and that means I'm going to have to make a lot of new friends because I don't really have any friends over there. It's going to be very interesting. So right now, I want to watch a few videos on tips on how to make friends, see if there's anything helpful besides just like being a nice person, which is kind of obvious. Here's how to make friends healthy gamer. We're going to teach y'all how to make friends using two rules in under two minutes. So okay. friendship requires two basic things. First thing it requires first is thing. common cause. So people have to be there for a shared purpose. This ah. is the first way that human beings bind together. The second okay. thing that they need is regular unplanned interactions. So you need to see this wow, person more than that. once without the two y'all making a plan to see each other. This is why we make friends in places like classes because we show up. That is so relatable to my life because it feels like all of the best, best, best friend connections I've had is because we're like living together or seeing each other on the daily. And it's those in-between interactions that actually make us more friends than like the big parties or whatever it is. It's just those little things in between every day. I love that. I love that. Jordan Peterson, how to make friends as an adult. You know, you said friends are people you can tell good things to and people you can tell bad things to. And you have friends because friends keep you sane. And this is one of the things mm. I liked about your book is this insistence that sanity in some real sense is distributed. It's not something inside your head. It's something that you find as a consequence of being nested in a sequence, in a hierarchical mm. sequence of proper relationships. Benjamin Franklin said that one of the things you could do when you first moved into a neighborhood was to ask one of your immediate neighbors for a very small favor. People like to be of service to other people. And if uh, you ask someone to do you a very small favor, then you put yourself in their debt and then you can also reciprocate. So you allow them to show themselves in their best wow. light because you allow them to easily indicate that they're positive and friendly and willing to do something for That's someone else. Cool. And they're very happy about that if you get it right. And then you Yo, that, that's something I've been thinking about a lot is that I feel like humans are so driven by having purpose. And when we have purpose, like a task to do, that is then going to affect our community in a positive way, we just light up from the inside out. So that's a beautiful way to make connections with people is to be like, hey, I kind of need help on this little thing, especially if you're moving to a new country, a new city, be like, hey, do you know where I put my trash? And then it's going to be a great like little thing that they can do, just some expertise that they have without even needing to know about it. And that's going to create a really cool connection between the two of you. I love that. Nice, Jordan Peterson. How to make friends. At some point in your life, you're going to go through this crazy life transition where you're going to have to make new friends. We're supposed oh. to be friends forever. You go to a new school, you move to a new city, you start a new job, mm -hmm. and you got to make new friends. How do you do that? Well, there's one simple and easy solution. Whatever situation you're in, whether you're at a concert or at work or even at the gym, or you're just out in the world walking around, whoever's out there having the most fun, that's the person you go talk to and that's the person you interact with. Not the people who hmm. are in their phones or not having a good time or are just Yikes. looking around to see this what everybody is else is doing. This you is just facts. want the person who's expressing themselves and they're having a good time because that's all you want to do, right? Just seek out the people who are having the best time. That's a, that's a very good tip in terms of just finding the right people. It's like find the people who are loose, enjoying, and smiling because that's what you want to be around. I love that. Four ways to make people like you. You do these four things and people will get addicted to you and your yes, mind. Yes, get addicted up, to me. Name. People love their names. Dale Carnegie says it's the sweetest sound in any oh, language. Oh yeah, this is the guy. One tip, say their name three times in the first three minutes so you remember it. Number two, nice. instead of trying to be interesting in conversations, become interested. When you just ask people questions about what they're passionate about, their interests, their wants, they will walk away with, man, there's something about that guy. That girl is awesome. She listens. Which leads mm. us into our third point. Find the hidden passion of everyone you're talking to. Okay. Everyone's got that one topic that they can just go off on. Sports, That's a fact. Is it business? Is it self improvement? Is it psychology? Is it conspiracy theories? If they like the topic, they like talking about it. The natural conclusion mm. is they like you too. Lastly, don't forget to smile. It might feel fake at first. That book that he referenced at the beginning is How to Make Friends and Influence People. I read it because it's like a big thing in business. It's pretty obvious stuff and used in that way, it feels very manipulative, but it's very true. Like if you can talk to someone using their first name, if you can ask them things that really get them excited, that's beautiful. So these are good tips, but this guy is giving me a slightly creepy vibe in terms of like, here's how you make friends, get them addicted to you. Just be interested in them and that will that will do it. They don't need to be addicted to you. How to make friends when you're shy. 
How to make friends when you're shy. All right, I'm gonna give you a simple assignment. This is what I give my coaching clients to do. I want you to go to the mall and what you're gonna do is okay. you're just going to go up and you're gonna talk to 50 people. Okay, I know that seems Whoa. like a lot, but you're just gonna make a list on your phone. Just start a conversation. Just say, hi, hey, what's the time? Anything you wanna say, 50 people, that's your assignment, do it. I mean, that's very practical. Just, you just go talk to people. <laughs> That wasn't really like a helpful tip. It's just like, hey, go talk to people. The truth is, that's what it's all about. You could have as many tips as you need. The fact is, if you go talk to 50 people, you're going to make friends. Sneaky psychology tricks to make people instantly like you. Oh, I've watched this lady before and she's got good stuff. But again, kind of creepy to say it that way. Sneaky psychology tricks to make people like you. Let's find out. Sneaky psychological tricks to make people instantly like you. Part six. One, ask people to do a small favor for you. Okay. This is called the Benjamin Franklin effect. Say something like, hey, can you pass me the salt, please? Their subconscious mind thinks that they like you because they're doing a favor for this you. This lady's got like a powerful Two, vibe. Call people by their name. We absolutely love hearing our name called by someone else because it makes us feel important and appreciated. Mm. Three, instead of responding immediately after someone says something to you, wait a couple of seconds. This will make mm. them feel like you're really thinking about what you're going to say to them and it makes you seem like a better listener. That's interesting. Just pausing and being more conscious in your conversation will make people feel and make people know that you're taking the time to think about them and to really want to say something that's actually valuable. That's beautiful. All right, let's get like one or two more. Why you can't make friends. This is the cold hearted truth. If you think about your friendship right now, if you think about your friend circle, your network right now, that completely demonstrates how much value you bring to other people. <laughs> no one really wants to talk about this, but if you are, for example, thinking to yourself, like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm so, I'm so um, lonely and I've got no friends and there's no one who I'm speaking to, bro. You know, everyone else will give you this like feel good, like lesson of like, oh, well, you know, just believe in yourself, just be yourself. But the, the truth is, if this you guys are hard, this guy's you, alpha, it's because no one wants to be there because you're not that oh. great to be around. Facts. I had to accept <laughs> this hard to swallow pill when I went months without speaking to a single person. I had to expect, accept that I'm not as great as I think I am. One day, it just mm. me, I was like, okay, if I was as social, as confident, as happy as I thought I was, I would have more friends than I do now. Tough advice, but good advice that if you just look at what's happening in your life, you're going to have the real facts. Oftentimes, we're looking at what's happening in our heads, not what's happening in our lives. That's something to pay attention to. Five apps for making new friends. Five apps for making friends that actually work. One, meet up. Huh. Two, Bumble BFF. Three, couch surfing. Four, Reddit. Or your favorite subreddit five yubo did you guys find this helpful but yeah meetup sounds like a cool thing where you can find people who are interested in doing what you're doing bumble i think is just like a dating app but bff so friends version couch surfing would be really interesting to ride around germany go check out some new places and also just like trust strangers and get to know people so i like all those i'm gonna check those out well that is all for today i enjoyed these tips i hope you did too and i hope you can apply some and just go to the mall and talk to 50 people all right <laughs> peace and love